What would you do if someone laughed at your telescope? Oh, man. Ugh. Tell me about it. Ugh. You're just trying to get away from the jocks at on Earth by putting your head in the clouds up in the stars, looking at you know God's great creation, mm-hmm. checking out some of your favorite uh, constellations. I'm talking about uh, Virgo and Sagittarius and all the great ones. Gemini is up there, too. And The big ones. Then all of a sudden, the you know a bigger scientist comes over and says, "Like, oh, is that? Oh, is that it? Uh, you may as well be using a little paper towel tube, you little putts." <laughs> and that makes me feel like shit. I think the worst case scenario would be like you're looking through your telescope, you look yeah. at like Mercury or Venus or whatever, and you see an alien with a telescope that's way nicer than yours. And you can see through your telescope, though it's a little blurry, that alien talking to their friends and pointing at you and laughing. Oh, no. And you're like, there's life out there, and they think I'm a dingus. Uh (laughs) Yeah, they've like written on the face of Neptune, like, huff my shorts, (laughs) Daryl. Yeah. If somebody was like, oh, that's a real dinky telescope, you just suddenly tip it towards the ground and say, it's a microscope, asshole. (laughs) And now they look dumb. You know what I'm going to, you know what I'm going to use this to look at? Your dignity. Because it's (laughs) minuscule now. Got them. You do that with their muscles, too. Like, oh, I guess it is because I'm looking at your muscles and there's (laughs) nothing there, noodles. Um, And you can make fun of how weak they are because they don't have any muscles and you can't see them even with a really good a a decent telescope it's not the best it's not great so uh there's a lot of things you can do with a a telescope bully to hurt them (laughs) 